You guys wanna hear a big fail? I just went through and recorded this whole video without pressing record. So we're gonna do this again. Round two, from the top. What's up guys? Like I said, we're just gonna start this all over. But my name is Tori. If you are new here, hello. So great to have you. I talk about all things travel, backpack, hiking, all that kind of good stuff, all wrapped up in one here on my channel, Tori the Traveler. And if you are coming back, hey, how's it going? Hope life has been going swell. So let's jump right in. So the backpack that I have is the Osprey Aerial 65 liter bag. So one of the awesome things about this bag is that it is two bags in one. Amazing. So this bag has a top part. So the brain of the bag disconnects and becomes a day pack. So on the back here, you'll see there are two little hooks. Unclip those. And then there are also two clips on the sides. Take those off. I'm going to like hold that. Okay. So this unzips at the top, unfolds into your day pack, which is awesome. And then in the back here, the straps are hidden. So you pull out the straps. And also something that's kind of frustrating, but I've found use for is this very large strap pocket. So I think they could have done a better job at making this smaller, but you know, it is what it is. I use this now as a personal item stash packet. So when I'm traveling, I'll put like my passport in here. I'll put important documents, stuff that I don't want to ever leave me or possibly get stolen in this back section here. But these hook to the tinier clips on the bottom, like so. You have your straps. And boom, the top part of your backpack becomes a nice, day pack that is perfect for hiking or throwing your laptop in and going to a cafe and doing some work, which is something that I really wanted out of a backpack. So while yes, I am a hiker, I'm also a graphic designer. So I do a lot of my work on my laptop, which is a must have for me. So I need to have all my stuff with me at all times. And finding a bag that combined both of my worlds between hiking and graphic design was something that has taken me a very, very, very long time to find. Because a lot of the day packs that come with backpacks, at least I know with the Duder bag, the day pack is on the inside and doubles as a water reservoir holder. So it's very thin. Like the day pack is about this wide and about this tall, which is awesome if you're going on hikes but that won't fit a laptop. So this was a huge selling point for me was the fact that this bag is big enough to fit my laptop. Now I have the MacBook Pro 15 inch MacBook. So when I fill it in my bag, my bag does stretch out into more of like a square, but that's not a huge issue for me. I don't really mind that my backpack looks more square than tubular. Back to the big bag. Some key selling points for me on getting this bag was the fact that while it is top loading, so you fill the bag from the top here, it also, if you unhook these, has an L-shaped zipper that goes along the front of the bag that opens up inside of the bag. So that means that when you're on the go or if you get to a hostel or a hotel or something, you don't have to dig everything out of the top. You can unzip the side and grab things from the middle, which has been a total game changer. Total game changer. No more pulling everything out of your bag while you're at the airport. Like you just unzip it, pull it out, zip it back up and you're ready to rock. 
Also, another awesome key feature is that this bottom part of the bag also opens up as well. So in this, oh, I have my, my packing cubes in here. Oops. Okay. So in the bottom part of the bag here, there is a sleeve that kind of separates this bottom part from the rest of your bag. So when I'm hiking, I like to put my sleeping bag, my sleeping pad, my camp gear in the bottom here. But when I'm traveling, this is where I like to keep my shoes. So I don't know about you, but shoes are kind of gross. You know, they touch a lot of things that I wouldn't want to touch the rest of my bag. So I normally keep some plastic bags, like some leftover grocery bags or something like that to wrap my shoes in and put them in the bottom here. But if you don't want to use this as a separate compartment, you can unhook this little sleeve part and open your whole backpack to just being one large compartment. It's really up to you. But that was an also a really nice selling point for me was the two sections between the bag. So another awesome feature of this bag is this front stash pocket. So while it's not huge, it does have ventilation to it. So this is mesh. And this is where I like to keep towels or flip flops or something quick and easy that I can throw in here. And if it still needs time to dry, like a quick drying towel, like, well, yes, they're quick drying, they still need to dry. So you can put them in here and it'll still get airflow, which is really awesome. So there's the front. Now we're gonna switch over to the back of the bag. So my favorite thing about the back part of this bag is all the padding in the straps. So in the shoulder straps, you have a lot of padding and in the hip pads, you have a lot of padding. So a lot of the travel bags that I was looking at, they didn't have any type of support for your shoulders or your hips. They have very simple hip straps, very simple back straps. It was nothing that was actually comfortable or supportive. Now for me, when I travel, I like to walk a lot. I also like to go hiking. So like if you combine those two worlds, you're gonna need a little bit more support, especially if you're carrying something that's a little bit heavier. So having padding here was really nice. Also a cool feature is this is an anti-gravity bag. So as you can tell, when you pull the straps away from the bag, there's a hole here. So this hole is added ventilation so you don't get back sweat. Also, I'm the queen of back sweat, so this bag can save me on multiple occasions. Just side note. And then, put this on real quick. So when it's on, there are pockets on the sides, on this side, and then also this side. These are awesome. When I have my bag fully together, so when the day pack is back on the top, this is normally where I'll keep my phone or my headphones or a map or bus tickets, something that I need easy access to, to immediately get to. Like, for example, I have some, what are these? Oh, plane tickets. Yeah, I have some plane tickets in here still. So nice, easy little stash section. Now these are super awesome. So if you look here, there are two straps that are stretchy. So when I was in Montana, I found out that this was actually designed for bear spray. Who would have thought? So they're designed to carry bear spray, but I like to use them as a sunglass stash. So if you put your sunglasses in here, you just kind of fold them over, put them in, and they stay on. You don't have to worry about losing them or having them fall off or wearing one of the croaky things for your sunglasses. You can just stash them on the side of your straps, which is super cool. Sorry, I need to take a snack break. Nothing like some good waffles. Get you going. Okay, let's get back to it. When I'm flying, I like this bag because I do this move. I become a double turtle when I fly. Yes, it looks ridiculous, but you wanna know what? 
I can, I can run in this. I can jump in this. All of my stuff is going to stay on me because I don't have to worry about having a purse that's gonna sling around or like a messenger bag that's gonna be heavy on one side. Everything is compact and on me. And what's super cool is, like I mentioned earlier, this bag being big enough for my laptop. So when I fly, I like to put my laptop in here, my hoodie, and then in the front pocket here, this pocket is where I like to stash my phone, my headphones, my chargers, stuff like that, because it's all right here. All right here. And if you're walking around a busy city, it's important to keep your stuff close to you. So I never have to worry about someone trying to pickpocket me or steal my phone or my wallet or something like that because it's all right here and it's safe and secure. And oftentimes when I'm riding a bus or walking, I walk like this or I walk like this. So there's no chance that anyone's gonna try and take this from me. Whereas in the back here, someone could unzip something, try and get something, whatever. So the double turtle is the move. And the coolest part is that it's already attached. Like this bag already comes with this bag. So you don't have to buy two, which is just awesome. Because the issue that I also used to run into was I would have a day pack, but it wouldn't fit in my backpack. So I'd have to like squish it up and fold it and smoosh it into a tiny ball and like shove it in the bottom of my bag in order to make space, which is just, I don't know. It just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. If you want two bags in one, I highly recommend this bag, especially because, so this large portion is gonna be 45 liters and then this bag is 20 liters. So that together creates the 65 liters. At least that's what I'm under the impression that it does, that that's how it was distributed. Um, but with that being said, I've never had to check my backpack. So I've flown on American, I've flown Delta, and I've flown Southwest. Those three airlines have never asked me to check my bag. Now this was also US travel. This was not out of US travel, but I will 100% keep y'all updated if I travel the world and don't have to check this bag because I hate checking bags. They always get lost for some reason. So. Yeah, this ends up being the one that goes under my seat and this is the one that ends up going in the overhead compartment. So the only thing that I guess would be kind of frustrating about this bag is that these straps don't hide anywhere. So when I am putting it up in the overhead compartment, I do have to hook everything together just so that way straps aren't flying. But that's not really a huge deal to me, especially because I want this added support and comfort that the padding in here provides that you don't really get with other you know, travel oriented backpacks. So that's a wrap. This is the Osprey Ariel 65 liter bag, which technically is two bags in one. And it is awesome. I love this bag so far. I haven't had any issues with it, but I will definitely keep you guys updated on how I feel about it with international travel as I have not traveled internationally with it yet, but it has done wonders for me on hikes and also through US travel. So there you have it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'd love to start a conversation and I hope to see you guys next week. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank <laughs> you.